Hi, Brent here with Limelight Results and today I want to show you how to create clickable areas on your Facebook landing page that people can be sent to when they uh, click on them. So like for example if you wanted to have somebody go to your YouTube channel when they uh, hover their mouse over the YouTube image and click on it, you can do that. You can send them to Twitter, you can send them to your website, um, you can really do anything. So I wanted to show you how to do that without having to know how to code HTML or Facebook's markup language. And it's really quite simple. So all you need is an image, which this is just an image. And by the way, if you haven't created a landing page yet, you need to do that for your Facebook fan page. And I have a video on how to do that, so you definitely want to go watch that if you haven't done that yet. So you need an image and that's that's all this is is just an image and what you need to do is then save that image onto a, uh, a hosting account somewhere if you have a website you can save it to your uh, your hosting account for your website so once you've done that then I use a tool called image.maps.com and what you do is come here and you place the URL of your image and that's that's where my image is and you don't want to you can upload an image from your PC but you don't want to do that because imagemaps.com will then control it and um, you, you don't want to do that you want to actually put your image on your hosting account somewhere or if you don't have a hosting account you can um, you can load it somewhere else. You can probably load it to somewhere like Photo Bucket, or there's lots of other uh, sites where you can load images. But anyway, you just need to have the URL of where that image is saved, and that's what we're going to use. I have mine right here. So once you have that, you click on Start Mapping Your Image. Then it just shows you the image. You want to continue to the next step and now you want to uncheck these boxes and then click you can use a custom shape that you want to have make clip clickable or rectangle I'm just going to click rectangle and what happens is it brings up a little square box here and you can you know basically resize it however you want and then drag it to wherever you want to make the clickable area on your image so say you wanted to make this YouTube part on you, you wanted to make this YouTube area clickable. You wanted to send somebody to your YouTube channel. So you just uh, size the box up and then uh, just change the URL to wherever you want to direct somebody. So if this uh, you wanted to go to YouTube, in my case this is what the URL would be but you can you know you can have it point to your YouTube channel or anything else and then just save it and then you can do that uh, you can select rectangle and do as many clickable areas on your image as you want I'm just going to do one for this uh, example then what you want to do is you want to come over here and click check on use CSS for Facebook then select get your code. It brings you to this screen. You want to click on CSS code. And then what you want to do is just grab this code here, highlight it, copy it, and then we're going to go back to Facebook and take that code. Uh, we want to edit, edit the welcome page click on applications, go down to welcome, FBML. Mine says welcome, but whatever you named your tab is what will show up here. And then click on go to application, and then here's all the code. I already have code in there, so I'm not going to paste it in there, but all you would do is just click in somewhere in here in this box and click paste, and then save the changes, and now you have a clickable image for your landing page. So if you notice when I hover over YouTube it 
it changes to a clickable little hand comes up. Same with right here, over here. So I already have quite a few different links on here. But that's an easy way to create clickable links on your fan page. So go out there, create your fan page if you haven't already, and put some links on it.